Whether the devil like it or yes, everything surely will be fair. Everybody be now human affair. I, if you seek, you will find. If you don't seek, brother, you go bind. If you seek, you will find. If you don't seek, brother, you go bind. May I have your attention quickly? Because as it is now, the way my condition be, I don't know whether I may not understand myself or I have no clear cut heart understanding of what the rudiments, body geophysical and geopolitical analysis of what the ministry instructors is directing. Hallelujah. Hmm. Somebody tell me, say, when Aki and Papa was born, after the birth, their mother still remained a virgin. Not whether than a breeze or come out or something. Because I hear, say, those guys, them, enter passport recently, their legs show. Hey, blood of God. Your Excellencies, Distinguished and disinfectant, beautiful, black, bold, blessed, bouncing, behaving ladies and gentlemen. Permit me to ask, how is your ministry? If your ministry is moving to the permanent side, you have a small ministry. Because we have left permanent side, we are moving to camp. In get the way your church go big rich, you go get camp. And your church address will change from number 55 to kilometer 99 at Belleki Expressway. No ask me why no going about the expressway because man of God, if you are a young minister of the ministry like me, you will not take this juvenile ministry to where principalities are already dwelling. The headquarters of Martin Fire is around the Everons and uh, I'm already burnt. I don't want further explanation in the envelope. Hallelujah. If somebody get up from his house for Coco Michael, bath, brush, eat, off light, off TV, close the door, track from a Coco to Shagabo, my brother, that not be exercise. The person's brain don't enter revise. Hallelujah. Hey, huh? As you know, my ministry is an Osusu ministry, and I'm the bishop of the Osusu ministry, and it's a global ministry. And recently, men of God have been writing that they want to be part of the ministry. People like Big Gates, people like Buffett, people like Ayere Mami, people like Water, Dumebi, and the Maludwaga actually prayed and asked that they want to be part of my ushers. In over to tell we said Dangote, Hotel Dollar, Goswill Akbabio, and Akbajio, Jonathan also extended the letter recently. If there is a way they can be part of my choir members. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. And as I they speak with you now, my phone they ring. Fashola, Ifa Yumba, Oshomole, Tinibul, and even my Denuga. They are sending excellencies, fax, email, BB me now. They said they would like to be part of my prayer band. But I told them, Mona Novest, big men know they be prayer warriors. They can pray, they don't have understanding. It's only the men that are hustling for Susu that can pray very well. Those are the men that can put in the prayer ministry. Hallelujah. If you seek, surely you will find. If you know sick, you go bind. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Whoa, whoa. Hey, I'll get a man. 
permit me to welcome you formally on board this Godot's Comedy Clinic flight 959 the 77 aircraft series taking us from the squeezing of first airport to the international wing of ever sunny ever happy ever jubilating airport that only God can determine the destination for now hallelujah and our flight time shall be 120 minutes and we shall be cruising on an altitude of 555,000 feet above sorrow level. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seat back, relax, because you are about to take off. Cabri crew, quick, quick, no waste my time. Take your seat, let the man of God move. My name is Godons. They call me the Comedy Bellis Coney. A.K.A. Solid Money, CEO Bellisconi Records, and just newly ordained the Bishop of the Osusu Ministry by His Grace Pope Akwajiomi the First. Would like to begin this comedy clinic war three with the story of my life. Man of God, He can help your ministry. Now maybe the only person for my family that was raised by a grandmother who stopped smoking at the age of 85. Not only was she smoking fish, she was smoking marlboro as well. Hallelujah. My mama and papa separated when I was yet to be three months. Male, no give me small bobby safe sock. That's why when I got married. My wife will testify to the fact that after the man of God visited the car bell industry, the life of the mammalian gland never remained the same. I made them proud, I left them lawyer. And if I made them lawyer, I changed their career. Somebody got to pay for the sins of my father. It was so bad, even when my wife born, we had to invite my mother-in-law to help in the breastfeeding because there was nothing left in the chest of the woman of God for the ministry. We are seriously begging Dr. Nao 210 to please come to Nigeria to see if there is a way he can help the dead among the living. Hallelujah. Apart from the baby deprivation, you know, so when the born begin at least one month or a day that do not circumcise the begin. But me, they circumcised me at the age of 12. Life and direct. And there was no anesthetics. I felt everything like Jonah felt the pain. Man of God, those six men lifted me up to high heaven and presented me as a living sacrifice, holy and unacceptable unto the Lord. They ate bearded weakness. Stars come out of my ear. No be joke. Now God saved my career. Uh, by the time. The woman of God was done with the nasset and the tiger cotton. A whole cucumber was reduced to carrot. But the Lord is good. Every job has its hazard. Everything where you can do for this slab, you know, say danger day inside. I had my share recently. In the course of my career, I have spoken about a lot of people. I've talked about politicians, musicians, comedians, myself, my parents, my children, everything. I don't talk. And that got me into trouble recently. I met OBJ Unuyo not quite long. As soon as OBJ saw me, he said, Godons, stand there. Are you the one that said they wanted to create statue in Abuja? And I inquired about how much a statue will cost. When they told me the amount, I asked them to give me the money so that we can stand there. Are you the one that said that? I said, no, sir. Mm. Hmm. Are you the one that said, Stella and I went to the zoo and we saw monkey. Stella gave banana to the monkey. The idiot refused. But when I gave the monkey the banana, the monkey took it. And when the monkey was asked, he said, blood is thicker than water. Are you the one that said that? I said, no, sir. He said, hey. Are you the one that said, I saw a bird in my farm. And the bird asked me to make a wish. 
And I said, can I be fine a little? And the bear said, young man, I asked you to make a wish and not to perform a miracle. Are you the one that said that? I said, no, sir. He said, so what have you been saying concerning me? I said, Oga, I only read that man was made in the image of God. But Oga, when I saw you, I confused. He said, and the way you talk me that, I said, yes, sir. It's okay. You shall hear from me. Now, so Oga, I make her hear now. Now, so you tell Atiku Lassa, I said, you will hear from me. From that time till now, he never win election, no. I beg go. But again, you cannot take away the fact that Baba has been a good leader. A man who has enjoyed longevity, enjoyed privileges, and a man who is endowed with good leadership qualities. You will not believe that Baba went to America and told B. Clinton, Billy Billy, show. Come to Nigeria, you will not find power problems anywhere. The Oyibo Hore come. As soon as Big Clinton landed at the airport, now that the Nepa knows that they go take light. Yeah, Nepa struck. Big Clinton provoke. Hello, BJ. You told me you don't have power problems. How come there's no light? Now, Baba tell the guy in mind, say, look, this thing happened today. It started today. Nobody said this is. Now, Big Clinton now said, okay. Come over to America. You know we have power, so you can enjoy yourself. You can probably even come and charge your phone. Now Baba go there. When Baba reached there, they shop dinner. He could discover say a portion of that country no get light. You trust your girl. Bros provoke. Billy Billy. Now you tell me, say that's and I don't get power problems. But from what I can see now, that region no get light. Why? When the Clinton see him, he was so embarrassed. Now he call on his PM. I said, why are you embarrassing me before my guest? Why is there no light in that area? Now the PM said, I got no shot to down the Nigeria embassy. Who you? Yours truly, life is about packaging. When I only came to Lagos and I wanted to work for the corporate clients, now they said, make a wear coat. Ladies and gentlemen, I go yaba go buy Kosuble. That coat was called suit and blazer together. Even as a human being, I be teasing back on super sacks, strong but when I see that coat, oh blood of God. I can't wear coat when you see my black like condos, rose chicken for she turn about. I begin to move. That coat made me lost client. I lost money and I lost friends. Even my angel refused to guide me. The coach began giving me wala. That's okay, no problem. At least, if you might be reject me, God will not reject me. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are coat to go to church. As I reach church, now pastor say, sow a seed that will provoke the Lord. That's okay. Nothing will provoke God more than this coat. Even if God is happy, if you see this coat, you go change your mind. Now go dry clean the coats. Call we are a better black paper bag. They're not going to see the content. I go submit a good man of God. When pastor see God, I like, say, yeah, 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 yeah. New down, let me pray for you. By this time next year, you will wear Amani. I say, hey, amen. You will drive Georgia Amani. I say, yes, man. <laughs> you will. You will wear who go boss? I say okay. He never see the koto. We're just happy. That's okay. You can go. The Lord bless you. Five o'clock in the morning. Now my phone ring. Brown, brown. Is this Godons? I say yes, ma. Are you Godons? I say. Can you be Godons? I say. Ah, I be Godons. Now you drop this thing. I say which thing? You don't know the thing where you drop. I say which thing? Ah. I said that in a coat. He said, that in a coat. My brother, if you not go carry this thing, come up for this church, this swear, when I go swear for you, it will go beyond you and extend to your generation of born. Which kind of coat be this? No iron, we will never try to take straight this coat. He no straight. We pull water, he no give fold. What is it? According to what kind of good stash, my brother, if you don't want the cause of the Lord, Come and collect your coat quickly. The Lord is no longer in need of it. 
that last one, I got to take a source. They say, no worry, God, no, they travel. When he come, he go wear coat. Now, come and collect the coat. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 If you are a man and you are listening to me now, and you are married to a beautiful wife, you can only hope and pray. No thing say now, only you go see the wife until she dies. That's why I would rather have a lawyer as a friend than to have a doctor, especially if she's a gynecologist. You know, say when woman was born, you know the gas secret. No small protocol. I don't know how to follow my wife, go to the room. The movement, Belepe, madam, oh, blood of God. Even, even, the good, if you live, madam, nothing. She was plain as Adam. Now, get my bring rapper from gate. Because the worker, when I see madam, I share grace. But I had to cooperate because I need the baby. Eh? As with the worker, they enter the reception. She don't go straight to the room. My sister. Before I say Jack Robinson, my dad don't go lie down. Throw two legs up. <laughs> from where I was sitting, the earth was without form and void. And darkness upon the face of the deep. But the Lord did not bother to say anything because he knows I don't provoke. <laughs> As mother did, they, they shout, Doctor! I said, eh, Why you the child? I mean, not be man. Call me. You'll see the state where you there. Make another man come jam you like this. He said, Go. Now, did you, why you give me that? Don't worry me. I said, Don't worry. After this one, another copy, no go enter. I said, that there. Hey, blood of God. When I see the way Madame the road, no let me carry my leg, go call man. To come see my wife when no wear cloth. Hey, my brother. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. The Lord God made them all. Hey, I have to endure. The thing when it take me three years before I see when doctor come, he was just enjoying. There was no difference between blue film and what I was seeing. <laughs> when doctor come for my presence, he the tell my madam, madam, please you have to adjust because the baby is coming out. Hey, my brother. I begin to endure. What I go do? For my present doctor, we are glow. Pa, pa. They smooshed my wife for my presence, but I could not do anything. I had to cooperate because we need the baby. Oh, the Lord is good. The two will pay me pass. Doctor, begin check. Oh, let's say something lost for somebody. Oh, and they check. After I don't want to check, he go. I endure out. Before I look, another papa doctor. Pa. The way hand glow. Hey, now tell us, Oga. Hmm. My condition now. Hmm. <laughs> Chaco, but hmm. consider my temperament first. Oh. Look my face before you do anything. No, I mean, how much I pay? Oh. No triumph. Doctor, go. Ba, ba, he check. Say, Madame, you see, remain two centimeters. Hey, in that state, now all these student teacher, I'll be able to record them. When I just finished university, fine boys will be here. Because we are hand glove. Give me myself one check. <laughs> I see we are hand glove. Let me myself go wear hand glove. Now tell us, excuse me, sir. Anything you do to this woman, I go do unto you. Try her. <laughs> what you lost? I said this, but the one that they find, more than tell me, oh, let me go bring her come aside. Tell me the color and the shape, I will bring it out. Woman of God, <laughs> that was how my ministry was moved. And when the bomb came with this house, for two weeks, I no laugh. But I say, why you don't laugh? I say, you know, you know, small respect you don't even give me. You just advertise publicly as if you they work for glow, you no know, good. But hey, so if you married, as they see your wife, they thank God for her. Because someday there shall be an open show on the cross. And if you are there, you go to wait first because there's nothing the ministry will not do. In order for you to become a champion in this life, you must learn how to look at somebody who is already successful in your field of profession and have the person as a mentor so that you can have a better drive. And the good thing about having somebody as your mentor is you will always end up getting married to the daughter of your mentor. And I'll prove it to you quickly. Elvis Presley was Michael Jackson's mentor. 
And Michael Jackson got married to Elvis' daughter. Huh? Huh? Oh no, Bianca's father was Ojuku's mentor. And Ojuku got married to Bianca. You could have the governor of Bauchi State. Yaradua was his mentor. And he got married to Yaradua's daughter. Ladies and gentlemen, Obama is my mentor. And Obama has two daughters. So after this production of CD, not only will I have blessed assurance, American visa is in the pocket already because no weapon formed against my prosperity shall prosper. Hallelujah. If you get picking when you get tea fish, go market and buy all those scrubia. All those fish when we say they are all here rich to take grease caterpillar. Give her like 18 shop once. Anytime you see fish again, you go lawyer. <laughs> hey, if you see picking when they tip money and you want to come up for house, take your susu to give a hole. It don't go fit you far. Because I remember when Judas Iscariot was on earth and when Jesus was preaching, hunger come come. Then they sent Judas Iscariot to go buy chicken. As Judas they come, he removed one leg of the chicken to help him ministry. Now he carried the rest one cup, come to Jesus. Then Jesus provoke. Excuse me, why is this chicken with one leg? Then Judas said, no chateau. The chicken one I create for this side, eh? now one leg they get. Now Jesus said, what? Now two with a create for heaven. Now Judas said, if you doubt, I move grass and go see Fawo. Ladies and gentlemen, that I rain the fall. You know, say, where rain the fall? Fawo, they stand with one leg. Hallelujah. <laughs> Make if I don't be quiet, now Judas said, Jesus said, you see that Fawo, that one leg he gets. Now Jesus can a stone because he's all knowing God. He stole Fawo, now Fawo scatter two legs. Now Judas sell as a master. Miracle not the tire you. If you are not cheeky, what the Mr. Beast said, oh, the Savior, you're not going to let the rest. Take it easy. Hey, hey. There is nothing you make up your mind to do in this life and you commit your time and energy that will not work. The word of God will always work if you work it. God has exalted his word above his names. Ladies and gentlemen, when I newly got married, Adam knew his wife and knew mine for one year of constant browsing and fellowshipping. There was no printing, no email. I provoke. Then people begin to say, God, that's only one year where you wait. Now you the wreck. People don't they wait for 12, 15 years. Now I tell them, say, I believe in the scripture that says, satisfy me early. I don't go old first before I get prosperity. Now when I young like this, now watch up. Josiah ruled Israel at the age of eight. So I like my prosperity early. And after all, they that seek him early shall find him. Hallelujah. Hey, then I went to church. A pastor told me, say, nothing leaves heaven until praise go there. I said, correct. Now just call madam. Let's go home. We don't close for church. We don't close. Let's go home. If God be God, we will, we will prove him today. Don't be saying, I break. But we'll go house. That day, as soon as we reach house, we off TV, remove chair, we off light, short heaven, short hell, close down everything that can make noise. Because no man goes to battle and entangle himself with the affairs of the world. Now we start present worship. Let's prove God today. Hey, we say, Baba God, you are good. You are good. You are good. You are good, 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 good. Every day, every day, Lord, you are good. You are good. Hey, 30 minutes of constant present. Nothing happened. Now that time now provoke. I say, God, I don't know sweat. Oh. No, be so the preacher at that time. The doctor will say, once we just start, he go answer. I beg, if you don't say you get planned, say you don't know, answer me this year, just tell me now because I get where I will go my bath. Make I no say praise finish. But I got that faith. We start another half of, of vigorous prayer. Who say? Who say you're not good? Who say 
You're not good, oh, make it talk, oh, make it easy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baba got to go, do, yeah, 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 yeah. At the end of the 30 minutes, man of God, when I open, I do fool the house. No be say, my bob born. No be say, the food will put for fire in the bone. Don't be saying a hammer time period. And that means the presence of God was already in the ministry. And to further prove it, now that I know the Holy Ghost is strong, as many abodacious as mother can be. Yeah, he fly like kite for her. Poor Yagaga. Ha, last of today, last today. Hey, instantly, my own prayer stop first. I tiptoe go meter because where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. As I touch, I say the breeze. Now tell us, God. Now God said two of us, because you don't go for somebody wife like this. Make her not react. You know how long it takes me to see this woman. No, I beg. This for where this woman for? So if not be for good, you, if you check my report, you don't go like her. As God they do. Thirty minutes time, that madam bust out. Madam half hour the hurry. Now it was while she was in that trance, she saw a mighty hand bring her a baby. Just as a mighty hand will bring you a baby this year. A mighty hand will bring you something you will cherish for the rest of your life. Now tell madam, say, you carry the baby? She said, yes. That's okay. Prayer over. We have to do some other things now quickly that prayers will not do. Hey, he that have you here, let him hear. And I ask Roboma and I have to perform duty quickly. At the end of six months, madam started spitting. Not last say, spit anywhere. As long as the baby does come up, my friend, keep spitting. Speak to the north, south, east, and west. Anybody will challenge you for speaking, that person will answer to me. They go, no, sir, I'll train Karat before I join the hide and seas. And while the baby was in the stomach, I started talking to the baby because the baby hear better when they are in the stomach. I said, Your name shall be called Zoe, the God kind of life. Zoe, listen with your small ear as you come. So, as you come, so thank God, may give you something come up because this I get as it be. If you come empty handed, sorry. Hey, now be said, you don't even go better school, nor car that you go enter. If at all you go, I don't tell you finish. Oh, tell pop sister, we need things to eat here. Some of that is to drive us on department to stay. And tell pop sister, the highest height where one go, make it give you collector and comes. If not, when you call your share grace, now Matt, you go, you go, <laughs> now Matt, you go, they lie down. But the Lord is good. At the end of nine months, the way show forth. If you see, Piki, be like Mesheli. The front was equal to the back. You know, tall, you know, short. You know, roll like bottle. <laughs> At the end of two months, the Biki Biki talk. Yeah? Now people say, eh, two months? I say, yes, yeah, so. Monkey no the bongo to. Lion no go bomb Biki made the Biki get fed down. I say, don't be. Papa live by talking. So, make him begin talk. I say, don't be. You know, say, if you send your Biki to private school, the Biki will disgrace you privately. And if you send your Biki to public school, he will disgrace you publicly. That's the way small, small picky way you call that table like small emu bread. If I tell you the kind of question where they ask me now, you go shock because he knows how it's be. One day, the way coming to say, Daddy, I say, Fine. <laughs> he said, If crime fighters fight crime and firefighters fight fire, what do freedom fighters fight? I said, My friend, they fight freedom. He said, eh, You sure? I said, Huh? You know, Shaka? <laughs> he said, Okay. I hear. And then he went on. That they understand that granite oil comes from granite. And cotton oil comes from cotton. Coconut oil comes from coconut. Where do baby oil come from? Now I said they come from baby. You say, eh? Will the baby poop the oil or he will pee the oil? I said, how the oil will come out? The oil will come out. He said, that they are usual. I said, nobody asked the question. He said, eh? I said, yes, sir. I said, what they do? Am. And then she asked me another question. Daddy, I said, well, in point, enjoy poetry. Cooks, enjoy cookery. Carpenter enjoy carpentry. Surgeon enjoys surgery. Why is pastor saying that adults should not enjoy adultery? I says away. You won't wound now. You go kneel down, hands up, close your eye now. And I said, Daddy, I bet no verse. I said, Yes, no verse. And I said, Daddy, I want to ask you another question. I said, Quick, I hurry. He said, This is what I want to ask you. So, no beat me. I said, No, I don't repent since. I know they beat anybody. And I said, Daddy, tell me the truth. What is sex? And I said, Hey, how much did you tell me that kind of Ah, this because you won't go where you don't go. Now. He said, Daddy, tell me now. I said, I don't know. He said, You don't know? Ah, Daddy, I know. Eh? You know? Yeah. When your mommy does that room, what are they do? I said, Jesus. We are praying. He said, Daddy, it's a lie. In the parlor, we pray. I said, No, listen to me. When we are in the parlor, we do money devotion. But real prayers. 
take place in the bedroom. You understand? Say so sorry, sir. <laughs> hey, man of God. If you have children, listen to them. You'll be shocked what they can say. So wait, see me one day wear earring and dab at your bed. And I say, Daddy, are you okay? I say, yes. Say, because you look confused. I say, your father. <laughs> he said, Daddy, but you are my father. I say, I call my name for his side. Don't call my name. Don't tell me rubbish. Don't tell me. Yeah. So one day he came to me and he said, Daddy, please. Can I have like 2,000 and I want to buy Jim Ike home video? I said, for what? He said, yeah. The man is fine. He? Fine. You small rat. Eight years. What do you know about fine? He said, Daddy, hold on. Now I go bring Jim Ike. Film album. Now I said, Daddy, you and Jim Ike who fine pass. Now Daddy, I close the two years. <laughs> close the two years. Flock fresh back at night. But my friend, go sleep now or else you will receive ministry you have never prayed for in your life. I, yeah. I, Ninety-eight percent of the prophecy a man lived by is prophesied by the name they call him. Every life of a human being is predicated on the name that they call him. That's why somebody call you a name when you not resemble where you they go reject him. If they call you thief, reject him. If they call you, say you're the Christ, tell us, say no. Because name, the follow person. Tell for this time, the Lord Jesus, his name starts with J. He was born into the family of Joseph and Mary, J. He was baptized in River Jordan, J. And he was also betrayed by Akbajiomi Judas, J. That's the way it is. So name, the follow person. A lot of people, they blame our politicians, say some of them have not performed. But you don't understand the meaning of politician. Politician is a combination of two confused words. One is English, the other one is Japanese. Polite, that's politics. And then Chan, na Japan, it means to withdraw. So our politician did not steal, they just politely withdrew what belonged to the ministry. Hallelujah. And so you must understand, but para venture and overture, para instruction and infrastructure. If your name is John, my brother Samasot, jubilate and articulate anything you can do, do. Because whether you believe it or not, in this life, you must be president. But not be from this country, not for Ghana. Because from 19 years ago down now, every president who ruled Ghana have always come by the name John. The first one was John Jerry Rollins. He ruled Ghana for how many years? 19. And then his deputy was John Atam Mills. After that one, John Kofor enter. After John Kofor, John Atam Mills enter again. And who be deputy? John Mahama. You see that? John runs in the presidency. So if your name is John, some sort, good things are on the way. I've heard a lot of people say, I want to go to Asurok, my brother. Asurok no be for chicken, no. <laughs> if God did not call you to Asurok and you go, you will jam rock there. You go chalk. Because for every family who went to Asurok, now by the grace of God, one of them will come out. If it is that they lie, the first person that went to Asurok was IBB, only in I come out. After IBB, eh, Shonoka enter. Now because they know Tay, now make a come out complete. And after Shonoka, Abu Salam now enter. Now by the grace of God, now he still survived. He no take, now he come out. After Abdul Salam, eh? now Abasha enter. Now let wife come out. After Abasha, Shege enter. And because he Shege now wise man, he no go say fast rock first. If he go out, I go stay. Now from there he rule. And at the end of the day, because Shege only side, now let him come outside. After Shege enter, Yara Dua enter. Now let wife come outside. Ladies and gentlemen, I you oh, good luck, Jonathan. The wife don't enter now. No weapon from the gates them shall prosper. Not only will they feel it that here now, they will come out in flying colors and alive as well. Hey, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is true that Americans are ahead of us technologically, they are ahead of us in terms of health. They are ahead of us in many things on this earth. But there's only one thing they have not been able to defeat us with. 
How many of you know that Americans are behind us for six hours? <laughs> now God do that one, no be man. The reason is that everything in this world now has a different form of definition. The norm and the tradition of the way things were being done have changed dramatically. For instance, hey, we don't have tellers anymore. We don't have obiomas anymore. Now only fashion designers that we get now. If not all the moody, they be tailor now. What's the difference? So long as you the whole scissors and you get needle and machine and you the pull pieces of things together, you are a tailor. <laughs> That's it, don't be. Nowadays, there's no more carpenters. They are all furniture workers. I no blame you now. That's why now the four furniture worker now the new window put for door, put door for window. All in the name of development. They have redefined everything. And ladies and gentlemen, they have even redefined adultery. Before, it was when a man and a woman is caught in the act and they are both married, it is called adultery. But nowadays, the women self, that they take another woman, take the support body now. So if you ask them, go say, where is this written? That when a woman sleep with a woman, it's adultery. And so if you have a woman that is attaching herself to your wife the way you don't like, my dear, ask questions. So before they turn your wife to UPS, universal paralyzed system. If you have a man or a husband where we say you get one particular friend because there is no such word as best friend anymore. If you have a man that is your husband and you get one particular friend where they always follow up, say in the name of friendship. <laughs> Sister, ask questions so before they tell your husband to FedEx, finish, exhausted, drained, and expired. And you know, say so when FedEx and UPS marry, it will come fed up. If you don't want to be fed up, <laughs> and you know, say so on no get small picking for house, your husband they buy Vaseline and they buy baby pampas. Sister, ask questions so to avoid stories that touch. Hallelujah. I make both to declare that for every no a woman ever said to you, she meant yes. To every no a woman says to you, there is a yes in this guys. Because it happened to me recently. That was how I discovered the ministry. I went to UK as soon as I landed at the Heathrow airport. I was stranded. Nowhere to go home because the people would say, they're supposed to come pick me. They don't come. Now this beautiful black, God bless, tall looking coca-cola bottle with good hips lips and fingertips just walk up to me with that kind of a voice that can change a man's direction and heals a man's depression hello are you stranded i said yeah it's like i'm lost he said okay uh you're supposed to be in your hotel why, why are you here your star now i said ah the people were supposed to carry me no come home. Now the baby tell me something will be say he play keyboard for my ear, even though I know be bounce. He said, Can I offer you my apartment for the night? I said, Hey, hey, where did they find for Sokoto? Is they here? Sokoto Lee? I said, Why not? I die, I die. <laughs> Anyhow, he said, How? Man of God, if you see this sister, when I talk, if my conjunction was, was alive to see this woman, if I don't die, if I don't plan to die. If you see the gown when you wear, that's the kind of gown you wear to the gate of heaven. Angels will not bother to ask you what you did with your life. Because it's obvious that this woman comes mortal. Hallelujah. My sister, now we enter moto. Hey. And the little sister, sister, they look at me. What's in the wild? She go laugh. Tell her, they rub my chest. Hey. If you see the way my wires pack. I be like, I couldn't work for Nepa. All my body charge. I say, but the Lord is good. I don't know when I begin to go. I say, God. I know say you talk, say, flee every appearance of evil. But God, there is a more to do. I don't go free fly now. We call the go. We call the go. We call the go. We call the go. As we reach house, neither get tell me, say, please, I need to have a bath. That's it. Okay, can I excuse you? He said, no, 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 don't worry. Feel comfortable. It's my home. Ladies and gentlemen, for my presence, they remove rubber from Gala. And this girl, people like I said, they are anointed separately for evil. 
He no say his chest, they very proud. He's not lawyer. There was no complex around at all. Everything bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. The Lord God made them all. My sister go back for the moment he come out for the room, my sister. My condition changed. I'd be like, who get mixture of malaria and typhoid? Oh, but you know the hot, you know the cold, but I sweat. I can't like water. If it's too hot, it go breathe smoke. If it's too cold, it go breathe smoke. Don't be joko. That sister Bafilish can't come back. As he come back, call the rub body. Hey, another one at ten goes edge over. If you don't save me this night, eh, I go help myself. Oh, after you go forgive me, I know. I beg, do something, and I die a day. Flee every appearance of evil. I don't say house, I can't fly. I beg, no verse. As I don't tell you, when that sister don't give me, meanwhile, I don't sing for my heart. Oh. Eh. I got a feeling eh. tonight gonna be a good night for we are. <laughs> then, the sister can't tell me what it shocked me. He said, brother, please, before we sleep, can we pray? And I said, eh? Pray for this condition. Sister, you will lead this prayer because uh, as I this, I'm not sure if there's anything like prayer for this my belly. There's only one thing in my mind. And if God deprived me of that tonight, glory to his name. But miserly prayer, forget it. <laughs> uh, there's time for everything, sister of God. That's how I'll be where you carry me for the airport. Don't you see my condition has changed? I don't get like 18 standard ovations since I enter this room. You want me to pray this room? What kind of fire am I releasing? Leave that in. You lead the prayer. <laughs> now she tell me so. Father Lord, we thank you. Please take absolute control of tonight. Be in charge of our sleep. Now tell God, forget. I'm already in charge. Leave charge. Anytime when devil come again, you go, you go charge. But now, as I do so, you know say I pass battery charger. Like you charge me like you know say how far. Forget charge, I'm in charge. <laughs> And then when we won't sleep, because she gave one small bed on two pillows. She can't take the pillow to separate us. I shock. Uh -uh. Hey! She called to tell me, say, please, I'm a Christian. I don't want any temptation. And so I have to do this. Hey! Hey! That divide part from Silas, that divide everything. I say, child. I did one side, she did one side. My mind, they tell me, say, touch. One go say, remember shine now. Another will say, touch. <laughs> One go say, remember shine now. The prison not be for animal they build that for. If you try yow, and they call police, that is the end of Solomon Grandio. Behave. My brother, you know how it is. When you are in between and in betwixt, you are confused and you are confiscated. You are, you are totally in a state of elu elu. That is what we call narcissistic in the side. In capious, in domestic expression. Hallelujah. I was in that state, paralyzed and progressing, but there was nothing I could do. I had standing ovation countlessly, but the Lord is good. Now, so we do till the break. I do night vigil for the first time when I do all night, we'll be so other people organize. No big joke. <laughs> and then in the morning, when she wake up, she can't begin to squeeze. That's what is the problem. I said she had nightmare. I said, let me say you even sleep. Now God go judge you. As I do so, there's nothing like sleep for me. There's only one thing I'm believing God for. <laughs> that that, that no, so don't be a prayer, God the answer. <laughs> now so, in the morning, she woke up and said, please let me go and drop you in your apartment because I understand that uh, uh, your, your host should be ready now and I need to go to work. As we they go, she called the carry me come over her house to go where I go stay. And because in a convertible, she didn't drive, she ties calf. As to the go night breeze, blow this calf. Come on for this girl head. Cross road, go the other side. Now I tell the guys, I better make you wait. Make her cross over the road. Go bring the scarf come before we go. Now the guy provoke. Which guy cross? Under the pillow, you know if he cross, then I road you walk on. My friend, double double with the go. Yeah? Now I tell her, say, what you talk? Give me river Niger now, I will cross. In fact, if I did that time, Jesus will not go cross. Now if I be cross. You know, yeah? No Atlantic, India, Ocean, European Ocean, when I know if you cross. With well, this condition, where you put me since last night. Now she told me, say, don't worry, the first cut is always the deepest. Now I said, because, say, that small cut last I use. Now I will use Motosaur. You will know, say, there's difference between six and half a dozen. Man of God, 
For every no, a woman said to you. For every no, a human being said to you. Whether you are looking for a job or something, I tell you the truth. There is a yes behind it. Hallelujah. You didn't fail because you lack education. You failed because you didn't know what you wanted. For every man who knew what he wanted out of life, education will not be an excuse. As a matter of fact, education does not teach prosperity. There is another school you need to go for prosperity. If education teaches prosperity, now professors for rich pass. But ladies and gentlemen, education only inspire you to learn. And so that when you come out of university, and then you begin to learn another school of prosperity. That's how the ministry is. So you have to be confident of who you are. Because I remember a pastor wanted to cast out a demon. He not go to school, but he got confidence. When he walk and go meet the guy, now he tell him, in the name of Jesus, came out. And the demon actually came out. That's to tell you some demons not go to school. And when somebody approached the pastor and said, that word was supposed to be come and not came. He said, well, the English was wrong, but the anointing was correct. I said, yes. It's a confidence. And then another pastor, when he not go, because he said people the right name for Simon, he himself won't go right. He said, of our God reigns, now right, our God resign. Yeah. <laughs> the guy called the wonder why his church know the grow because even God don't resign for his church sees. <laughs> <laughs> now say just be I've heard a lot of people say things about our mother but the truth of the matter is whether we did she talk correct or you know correct favor is not fair she might not say it right but Eugenia Abu is not the first lady favor is not fair you know say mama they say so kind things even the deaf are dumb they hear mama do something recently no mama to forgo yo yeah. If you want to know it, then my mouth in a tongue at it. Oh. <laughs> As I did tell you, I don't know, say, it's excellency the provoco. <laughs> Recently, night display of, oh boy. He went, my man go somewhere for a function. My man want to address widows. Now she tell them, my fellow widows, eh? <laughs> hey, now that that's your excellency, and if you see where I got provoked, he don't know when he speak each other. And my man, nominal. Taya! <laughs> I die? Probably somebody died there, eh? You're not killing her? From today, go! You're not gonna follow me go anywhere again. Even if you follow me, go somewhere. If you talk, that will be the end of first lady for you. If we go any function now, just blow whistle. Blow whistle. We go here. You know, hear me so? People call this last year, excellent. You are before the public, so shut up. Who be public? Not me be public, so yes, sir. You are the public, sir. And so. But the ministry is moving in the direction of the way, way, way. It's obvious that the Oyibo people, they are ahead of us right now. But the truth of the matter is, black came before white. Because I remember the Bible says the earth was without form and darkness was upon the face of the deep. You see, darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness. And then God said, let there be light. White before light can come. So even though we came first, the white boys who came second, they are now ahead of us. But table will still turn and things will still start to arrange. And you will see our ministry move to the camp. Hallelujah. It's very hard for us to convince your Yibo boys that Nigerians are poor people. It's hard to convince a white man that Nigerians no get money because not only Nigerians for the whole world, that be the only people who be say they work out with at least four handsets. So what do you want to say? You don't get money and you can buy four handsets. We have some cultures that I think we should address. One, Nigerians will lack maintenance culture. Every day, budget is being released for infrastructure to build this or build. When the builder finish, there is no other plan B 
for the maintenance of such infrastructure. That's why things are falling. For Lagos, only house go job verse, work out more for foundation, fall. It's a bad culture. Our bridge, some, some bridge for Lagos, they, they were created before Ghana got independence. And the bridge, they never attend to them. I think it's bad culture. We should address it to avoid solutions that touch. Secondly, there's one other culture we need to address, the culture of spending and buying. Nigerians, we have a bad culture of buying things that we already have. It is not fair. That's why you both people, they capitalize on that. They go bring Nokia 8, Nokia 9, Nokia B, Nokia C, Nokia T. And the first Nokia, what they bring, only they feel call and they receive. And yet, they, they deceive us, they chop money. Toyota go bring, Toyota Avita, Avalon, Christina, this one, that one. As if the first Toyota, no go carry us to a like that, where would they go? That's how they do things. They go bring TV, they go bring flash screen, go be plasma. Now they don't be 3D, TV not be TV. TV not be TV. Uh, if they wash up our money, may they talk before they give us problems. You see, they know that we have maintenance culture. That's why you discover, say, not only Nigeria, that they advertise more because they know what's the dazzle the thing for we are, we don't buy. That's why it's hard for us to convince the white boys that we don't have money. If you look at the way we bury alone, if you look at the way we bury somebody, to die, go hungry you. I'm telling you, if you see coffee, coffee go be like five million naira. Meanwhile, the man will die. So now face me, I face me, nice day. Or five million for coffee. And then we should go to happy to kill. Because anytime they keep people, they go shop party. Nama, Akbama, where you want shop. Now for people who die ahead, now if you want shop, now let God go judge your matter. And so you must understand that some of our culture we need to address that. The way we bury people. And it don't tire me. Only you go kill cow, kill goat, pull fish, call Sonny and invite a bunny, call the blow whistle around as if not party you the throw, say somebody die. Meanwhile, for you both land, if man die, you go see somebody go cross, say he go train this man picking, go any level. So that the don't grow up, he go not say now because say papa die. That made the trainer. Why can't we copy that kind of culture instead of wasting money for a man who is already in hell or in heaven? Why waste the money, man? That's why I like the Muslims. If a man kick bucket today, that's the end of Solomon Grundy. They bury at five o'clock. He joined the gang. Every man lawyer. That's just the way it is. I think that's civilized to me. All right? So I don't see any reason why we say, if somebody died, they go spend the whole heaven just because somebody died. And meanwhile, there are children in that family that need school fees. And nobody go feel provide. But because you want to show yourself, you want to tell them, no, say, you hold your side. You can't display. That's why witches are happy whether they kill people anyhow. The one way they would invest me in a marriage. Not let this country have what they see say marriage be like project. You go read them and understand them. If not, the ministry will not move. Oh, you both people know they marry the way they marry. Oh, you both people can fall in love in Sokoto, marry in Sokoto. They call their papa, say we don't marry. You will just say, please, can you bring her? Let me see how she looks. That's all. Marriage, bankam. But our own, we want sure say we get money. Only we go do first introduction, second introduction, third introduction, we'll call carry and wine. Then we'll call do it traditional. After traditional, we'll call do white wedding. After white wedding, we'll call do excursion. After excursion, then we'll call do honeymoon. Rubbish! That's why you discover, say, during some wedding reception, the man not the laugh because he belayed us poor. So you the dance any other, your father don't eat all the two and I get for account. You go eat stone as you enter house, you will know how the ministry be. That's how it be. I don't know why we the copy waiting on the favor us. Oyibo man does not pay diary. Oyibo man know they do traditional marriage as we they do. And for your information, there's nothing like traditional marriage. Our traditional marriage is our marriage, it's our black marriage. You don't see one of Ibo will be say, after I do your own white marriage, they come to our own. You know, they happen like that. Then get their own level where they tell they go. I don't want it to vest me pass. According to the tradition of the Hebrew, not let people will be virgin. Now they wear white for wedding. But our sisters, they wear white for wedding now. How many of our sisters will don't marry or when it's about to marry, marry as a virgin? The only virgin we will get for this country is virgin Nigeria. And it don't even change to end Nigeria. So there's no hope. That's it. 
totally, totally, totally. Nehi, naha. According to Igodo, Nigodo. <laughs> hey! And so I think we should address some of these issues. If we do our traditional marriage and pay the bride price, and you want your pastor to come and pray for you, carry your ring and go to your traditional warrior. After the, your papa join finish, that the pastor can now come and bless you people and God will honor it. Because the reason why some of these marriages they break, now the pastors they defend they break up before they, they join. Because when we do traditional marriage, heaven does sign and say we don't marry. They will call go to church on Saturday. The pastor will call to say, if there's anybody here with a reason, why these two people should not be joined together after they don't join there yesterday? If there is no first break up. And that's why you discover, say, marriages are breaking. And I think we need to address it. If we don't address them, Divorce will come like pure water. You will share grace. Because our grandfather, some of them married five wives and they stayed together in love together. Because they pay dowry. And that's not the only thing. Where God respects. So I think it's hard to convince the white boys that Nigerians are poor people. Hallelujah. When it comes to dealing with human beings, you have to be very careful. If you are doing any business and a human being is involved, be very careful because during Easter they wanted to act the part of Jesus when he for carry cross and where they flog him he to commemorate the celebration of Easter. Now they choose me, God does, to come be Jesus. Me wear born like this, black offering wear black crude oil. That's my come be Jesus. For me to resemble white small, they have to paint me with calamite lotion and test coat. Then fix with on for my head, my brother. When I see myself for mirror, I be like my Jeff Ashek in his old days. No be joko. <laughs> hey, when the pastor see me as he come me off and I say, I hope you people know what you are doing. We say yes, sir. Because I've not seen this kind of Jesus who is, <laughs> who is black top, white bottom. I've not seen. I say, well, when the pastor me, I want to add. And then they say, make a carry cross. I carry that wooden light cross. Now that I respect my Lord and Savior in try. When I carry that cross, walk out only one kilometer. The sweat will come off of my body. It reached the people of Soweto to bath for 20 years. Then I told him, say no be joke. And then he came to that special part where we said that the flock person. I don't know, said the person when I the own money for church. Now one flog me. I don't know. Come go pull back. He say all is well. I call the year whoop. Room, no, no, say the guy don't twist barbed wire, twist electric wire, twist all kind of wire, join body for the bad belly where they belly. And they hear room, room, I said that silly fan, smart and I hear where I don't know when I holler like, Jesus. Now the producer said, Cut Jesus, don't they shout Jesus? We have to repeat it now. So, guy, this act it don't end, it don't end, it don't end, it don't end. Maybe find somebody where if you can do the work. Let me take the place of another ministry so that the church can move to the camp. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, as I do my comedy clinic, there is an anointing in my spirit now that compels me to say this to you. Wherever you are listening to this CD right now, whether in the car or you are in your office, I make bold to prophesy and to declare. If there be anything you are believing God for, be at this time next week, resort will reach your hand. In the name of Jesus, God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself. If there be a woman and you are looking for the uh, fruit of the womb, I prophesy to you, none shall be barren in the land. If the history of people with children shall be written, yours will be among them. And I tell you the truth from now on, because you've come under this anointing, whatever your hand touches, it shall prosper. I tell you the truth. Every dead thing in your life, I command to resurrect. Right now, if there be a lump in your breast, if there be any kind of disease in your heart, in your red blood cells and your white blood cells, in your veins and your capillaries, in your arteries and in your bones, wherever any disease is situated, right now, by the grace that is operating in this city, I command you to melt in the name of Jesus and by this time tomorrow you would have been as strong as anything that is called strong on earth ladies and gentlemen the anointing is flowing the bishop of the Susu ministry is still in the building you are listening to God's comedy clinic word 3 this is the word 3 
that God by himself, Jehovah Yeshua and Jehovah the healer is working by himself all through every department in your life. For those of you believing God for money, I tell you the truth. Money will meet money in your pocket. If you are believing God for position, the Lord exhort and he bring another down. It will cause the falling and the rising of many. And your position is shall comfort in the name of Jesus. Hey, I prepare person to be pastor. Don't be joke. Hallelujah. The truth is bitter, but it get to be said. The truth is painful, but somebody get to say it. The truth is dangerous, but hey, lies are even worse. The truth is always strong, no matter how weak it may appear. And lies are always weak, no matter how strong they may appear. There are some things that are in my spirit that I want to say now that some of us might not find very interesting, but it's going to be said anyway. Or die or die. If you talk, you will die. If you don't talk, you will die. So it's better say so you talk. So that at least you know say so you say your mind. I believe in the expansion of the kingdom. Yeah, I believe in prosperity. And I believe in the furtherance of the gospel. But this expansion and multiplication is giving us problem now. For the fact say you lay your hands on the sick and they recover. Does not mean God call you. Because such signs were supposed to follow you naturally. Have you not read? These signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. So, for the fact that you lay on your hands on the sick and the sick jump up, does not make you a pastor. Some of these call, what we just say, pastor call us. Now, miss course. God just flash you. Now, you say, he don't come here. In the real sense of it, no man go happy if he hears a God caller because waiting there is a call of God, no be joke. You know, say well, senior pastor they preach, assistant pastor go the teach say go preach pastor until they leave church for for one week. He go come go borrow T D J tape, call listen. At that time he go discover say there's difference between the anointing and annoying thing. I say it's just me. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's some things I need to say, and I don't care. Anybody should ask me, love me, judge me, pray for me. It's all good. I'm covered by the blood. No weapon from against me shall prosper. I truly think that the issue of our church multiplication should be addressed. It's bringing embarrassment to our kingdom. It's making the other people think that our kingdom is all about making money. Alright? Because I, I, I was in Germany and I asked them about church and they said God works in Africa but he take holiday in Germany. You see? He will need to address a lot of things. Oh, you both people now that preach faith, but Africans we are the practicer of faith. We faith breakfast, faith lunch, and faith dinner. That's how it is. So I truly think this multiplication is becoming too much. I just wish a hope and pray that God in His infinite mercy we merge church, let them merge them to become three. You know them too much now. People that is in our business with the take and do. The kingdom of God is not like that. And we are making the word of God of no effect. And that's why a lot of fake pastors and things are coming up. Because they want to make things happen. But it's not like that. The leaders who will get in the church alone now. They have enough word. They have enough anointing to take the church to where it ought to go. But I think this multiplication, every day, church in the hotel, church in this issue, stop. If I like, make could not judge me, but I don't care. I have to say it anyway. That's just the way it is. Because right from the days of the Bible to today, multiplication and expansion has always been a problem. Because it was a blessing that brought Abraham a lot quarrel. It was also a huge blessing that brought the quarrel between Saul and King David. That's just the way it is. And even if you narrow it down to Africa and to Nigeria, because of this expansion, a lot of pastors will be telling their fellow members, don't go to the other church as if like you create them. We are in heaven. Do you see a signboard? We are the right. This church is these people. This church is these people. We are one in heaven. There's no church in heaven. And so I pray for the unification of the body. I earnestly pray for it. And I think we all 
shoe hacking to the voice of God now that he's saying to us that now is the time for us to repent. Some of us, we need to change. The church of God is not for many, even though we know that the kingdom of God has blessing in it. Because there's a bunch of broad problems between two giants in our kingdom. They had no reason whatsoever to at least exchange words even, or at least even coming out to TV to say it. Because they belong to the same kingdom, the kingdom of God. Their names stand with P, Pastor, Pastor. Their real names stand with CC, Chris, Chris. Their popsy names stand with O, O, Yax, O, Kos. You know, married to fair wife. Their church is separated by one fence. And even if you look at it deeply, they have the same relaxer predicament. So they had no reason whatsoever to exchange words at all. But the only thing that brought it was expansion. Because when progress is in progress, some people who does not understand what progress stands for might take it for stress. And so I think the issue of hallelujah should be addressed before the ministry is truncated. Now, everything when I talk is not joko. But I not take me to prayer point. Oh. <laughs> hey, if I offend you, I'm sorry. Oh. No verse. Whether you like it or not, I don't talk, I don't talk. Oh. Hallelujah. That's just the way it is, ladies and gentlemen. Is it not amazing how things happen in threes? I have a little understanding of what numbers stand for. I know that number one is the number of beginnings. Number two is the number of agreement and division. I also know that number three is the number of trinity. Number four is the number of light. Number five is the number of grace. And number six is the number of man. And number seven is the level of perfection. Number eight is the level of a new beginning. And of course, number nine is the level of fruitfulness and talent and giftings and abilities and so on and so forth. But it's amazing how things happen in freeze because I know there are three men in the Godhead, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I also know in government that the arm of government will have the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. I also know that when you talk about the three most powerful forces on earth, you have faith, hope, and love. And Paul said the biggest and the strongest of them all is love. And of course, we have three seasons in Nigeria, the rainy season, the dry season, and the hamatan season. And we also have three airports in Lagos. We have the international, we have the local, and we have the MM2. And in terms of big brother, three Nigerians have a Marriage as winner back to back. Hallelujah. Of course, you have the Apoji Omi Uti and Ona Jakberoro Karen, and of course, Kevin. That's just where the ministry is. If you are coming into Lagos, you will meet three elders at the gate telling you this is Lagos. Even though one of them run recently because of bomb scared. Now, who did they tell the place for a long time? And if you extend your movement to Maryland, you will also see another three guys who will be saying, hold Nigeria up. There are three major tribes in Nigeria the Hausa, the Igbos, and of course, the Yoruba. And you're talking about the armed force, you have the Navy, you have the Air Force, and of course, you have the Army. And of course, you have the Army. Man is also made up of three. Man is tripartite. Man is a spirit. He has a soul, and of course, he lives in a body. And if you really want to go about the mysteries of three, you will not even go home today. But there are also three most important moments in a man's life. The day you're born, the day you get married, and of course, the day you go to be with the Lord. The day you are born is so important to me because you are really not aware of the things that transpired on the day you were born. I saw the original manuscript and the model of how I was supposed to live on earth in heaven. I saw it. Ladies and gentlemen, I was fairer than this. I was taller than this, more handsome than this, and I had some hair on my head. But something happened on the day I was born. I didn't know doctors were on strike and they have not been paid. So out of gross wickedness and anger, doctor pressed my forehead, joined my back, pressed the back, joined my front. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can see through this CD now, you will see a collab of acid rock and rock of big clatter existing in one human being head alive. And that's what happened to me on the day that I was born. Secondly, happened to be the day you get married. It is easier to go to the moon than to get married. Marriage is so hard. It's not because you have money that you get married. If not, all the Jim Ike, the, uh, the uh, uh, Mokeme, and of course, all the Wait MC and the rest of them will have been married. But it's not because of money. It's just hard to take the decision to get married. Even Mandela, 
Mandela was in prison for 27 years. He could take all the beating, all the flogging, kicking, hurting, and everything. He take them. But for only six months, when he come out and he stay with Winnie, he say, I can't take it anymore. That got to tell you, say, marriage no be joke. Not only in marriage, you go see, say, boy go kiss another man's daughter in front of the father. And the father will clap for the boy for kissing his daughter publicly. That's what marriage can do. It's only in marriage you are permitted to have constipation. One a goosey soup forever. Hey, blood of God. Don't be a joke. In marriage, marriage is like satellite TV. You have many options, but you can only watch one at the same time. It's only in marriage you walk both the narrow way and the broad way. When you are newly married, you walk the narrow way. And after two, three, four, five children, you might consider walking the broad way, but you know. You are working, so it's very hard to get married, but hey, it's a good thing, anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, the third one happened to be the day you go to be with the Lord. Now, when you die, now you go know the people will be your enemy and the one will be your friends. You go shock, say the man where they come greet you, says now your wife in the eye. Nobody say he really like you rich like that. And the annoying thing be said before you die, if you are a man listening to me now, make sure you write your wife's name as your next of king. Anybody, when he put the brother name at next of king, the person is amongst men most miserable because the truth of the matter is all these relations are brother, they don't send you. The moment you kick bucket, they will come and frustrate that woman who changed her name for your sake, who is gone through all kind of pains, hell and high water for you. They will come and frustrate that woman and come and eat where they did not so and make the children homeless and wayward. So, for you to have security, ladies and gentlemen. Put your wife name as mess of king. And so, but eventually, God calls you up. They will have a future. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelt because we are gradually descending into the international wing of the ever smiling every happy airport designed by Jehovah. And so cabin crew begin to pack up the bottles and some of the things that people have used because the men of God get to land. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, nobody pray for sickness. Nobody they pray for disease. But please, not be every sickness that they carry go public. It gets some. It could be their stay house to avoid stories that all. My friend, when the guy I knew wanted support from the men of God, now went to Lekki because you have to carry your market to where the people are. He said, Big boy, is there Lekki? Now he carry a two watermelon, go soon for public, for road, for where goes no day, so that people go see him and give him. You know, only to that way, take granite oil, take rub. The watermelon, so that you go do pitiful. Hey, he did that. Are you not the person we get here? Did he the black? What he add weight? Very fleshy. Ah, he did that. The bad people they blow with OP. Please give to the sick. Give to the sick. My guy, no, no, say get one. Rottweiler dog. Where the carry come from? VGC. When the girl rabies, they don't try to kill her, they don't fit. So then the car and go here, they go shoot her finally. The dog, the back of truck. Ladies and gentlemen, that dog, can't see. <laughs> My guy, when he sit down for wheelchair, suddenly two watermelon for her side. For the dog, man, ah, huh? this is be like hot dog, go, ah, uh-uh. Nobody, my poor friend, my guy, don't give me a deciso. Small time, the person is sick. Uh-huh. I'm back, go. Who got this dog making all ammo? Uh-huh. This dog don't go smoking, but the eye no good, though. Uh-huh. The dog called him. Uh-huh. Ah. So what I love, my guy say, when I the talk so like the yard, if I die, eh, you don't go good, though. He dead and they contemplate the dog self. The eye don't try. As he don't sick, my mom when he wash up. Before we say Jack Robinson, the dog cut rope. Eh? The person when in the six is the first us reach upright. It don't know that they breathe. My brother Tango said, well, 
I saw best season in that room. <laughs> when I come go ask, I saw my brother, where you pass? So my brother, I jump fence. So I said, ah, well, this condition is high. I'll die like that. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I beg. <laughs> Don't be having sickness. Then you carry go public. Before you disembank from this flight, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to intimate you with some of the informations that this ministry run with. If you've ever seen somebody complaining of joblessness in this country, the problem is not this country, the problem is the person. Because even in the midst of his complaint, people are working. And I would like to take this example that also changed my mindset. I employed the gatekeeper as nobody, a man who was just opening gate for me. Ladies and gentlemen, this man went and built one small kiosk just by the corner of the gate. Tomorrow he will buy sugar, he will buy milk, he go buy salt, he go buy small mangi, he go buy soap. There's nothing, petty, 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 petty things. Before we could say hello, this man don't get mini superstore right in front of me. And he did something that shocked me. He also went and employed his brother to come and be taking care of my gate while he takes care of his business. And that business is really so big, the whole street is coming to, to that man to buy stuff right now. I just got to know that that my gatekeeper has four wives and he's feeding the four wives with these petty things that he sells. Ladies and gentlemen, you see, the problem is not the country. The problem might just be your inability to see even though you have been looking. There's another thing to look, there's another thing to see. I think every one of us, we should learn how to buy tomorrow today. Because there are some people who bought land in Lekki 25 years ago when the land was just 25,000. Today, the land is going for nothing less than 50 million and 100 million. That now if you will get. You see, they have succeeded in buying tomorrow today. So ladies and gentlemen, there is no mountain anywhere. Every man's ignorance becomes his mountain. If you see a man that is complaining wrong, because complaining is also contagious. I would rather work with people who have prospect and believe in dreams than to work with people who sit down and complain about this country. Believe it or not, we are growing and we will get to where we are going. Distinguished guests, don't be weary in well doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Godons, the bishop of the Osusu ministry, CEO Berlusconi Records, and the Berlusconi of comedy. I will have to leave you at this point, but before I go, I would like to hear from you. Write me, send me an email on godonsjoy at yahoo.com. Godons is G O R D O N S J O Y at yahoo.com. And I also like to receive SMS only from you on 08052045077. Please, I would like you to contact this ministry for both prayers and some other department that can change your career. Hallelujah. This is just the war three, ladies and gentlemen. Like I told you, it's going to go on until Jesus comes. And so, until I see you again, I do pray that I'll meet you in health. I'm meeting prosperity. I'm meeting the goodness of the Lord. May God bless you and keep you. And may He cause the continent to shine upon you. Hallelujah.